on Twitter and or group meetings. Um, so yeah, it's getting out there slowly but surely. Yeah. And, f- and for e-learning instructional designers, a huge value of I found is no matter which tool you use, whether it's Captivate, Articulate Studio, Lectora, Raptivity, use Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook to connect to your product vendor. Uh, for example, with Articulate, it kind of cracks me up because I feel like I bug them a lot. Uh, and I know other instructional designers do too, but the response is incredible. They have community managers and support team members on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, so that as I'm developing a course and if I have a question and I need an answer right away because of a client deadline, I no longer have to go through the one eight seven seven customer support phone number, whatever. I get responses rapidly. So for rapid e-learning, there's rapid customer support for me. And that's what I would encourage e-learning designers and developers to do is, yes, follow our favorite gurus in terms of instructional methodologies, but also add uh, the people who are on staff with the product, the tool that you use. Because when you need to reach out, they're there for you. So the product vendors, the e-learning tool vendors, have really embraced Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, so that they can stay in touch with us. And if there's some an issue that we need resolved, you've got people right there at your fingertips as you're typing in your keyboard. So if you haven't yet connected with your e-learning tool vendor, do so and. It'll change your world. It'll make your life a lot easier. In the in the chat, uh, Lily is saying that um, she had a, a similar instance where a relationship um, had grown from a tweet to the point where it eventually uh, morphed into a, a meeting on Skype with, with the person. Uh, so professional relationships can, and, and a professional network can definitely be expanded upon uh, by simply a, a tweet. And in this case, Lily turned that professional relationship from one tweet to tweet to uh, a face-to-face discussion on Skype. Yes, and I've had a similar experience. And through those business relationships on Skype, um, I've had offers for contract work. So we, we were I, one of those. Yeah, I, I know corporations have their firewalls, <laughs> and but sure. for instructional designers, you have your personal time if you are not able to do it during your eight to five or whatever work hours. Is cultivate and develop those relationships. I mean, I know it sounds kind of funny, but in the Articulate community, there's Kevin Thorne, who's um, at Sign Learn Nuggets. He's a great illustrator. So if you need somebody who can draw or design web comics for you, he's a great resource. And I tweeted with him back and forth. And I said, hey, can I add you to my Skype? And he said, sure. So most colleagues, when you see that it's on a professional basis and there's that element of trust there. Uh, people are pretty, they're pretty open to communicating using all the avenues that we have, you know, at our fingertips. So I really encourage instructional designers, if you're in a situation where you really can't get involved in social media networking during business hours, there's your private time. Even if it's just an hour or two a week, start the investment now, document it, and show your managers after some time has you know gone by um, how it has benefited you, improved you as an instructional designer, and what you've learned that could enhance the learning at your organization. Lily, Lily is asking, and Lily, if you can elaborate a little bit more on... on um what you typed into the chat window. I'm not fully understanding the, the question, um, but it's saying that she start, started to have something on Twitter and she wanted to know how, how to cope with that. So, Lily, what, uh, if you can elaborate a little bit more on that in the chat window, that will, will probably help us uh, get Janice to answer that, that question. And then after that question, we're going to have to wrap it up because we're hitting almost an hour already. Time flies when you're having fun. Sure. Yeah, I saw that she had kind of um, 
put in some space fill or some asterisks. Um, I'm going to go ahead until, you know, we see her reply kind of fill in. Um, you know, be careful on social media. In fact, one of my clients, the protocolinstitute.com, we just finished a, a course on social media for professionals that uh, we collaborated on. I did instructional design along with them and, and then the development in Articulate Studio. Social media, the message is always present yourself in a professional manner. Um, in Twitter, in fact, I need to go through my Twitter followers and clean some of it out. There are a lot of marketing types that just want to bug you with their tweets. Um, not necessarily about products that we use for e-learning. It could be buy gold, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, we can block them on Twitter uh, Especially for uh, professionals who are women, it's very important to guard your privacy and be very careful. But if there are any issues, uh, LinkedIn, I've never had problems, but on Twitter, I haven't had problems. But you can block them and you can report uh, people who may be abusing Twitter. And uh, let me see, did, did Leave give us more information? Unwanted tweets start misusing hashtags. Yeah, you're kind of answering her question as you speak. Yeah, you're, as you're speaking. good. She, yeah, that's good leave that you block them and you report them. As, and yes, definitely report them. Get those people out of the Twitter stream. <laughs> yeah, they're getting creative. Uh, some of them are putting uh, – it used to be they didn't have any of the um, avatars uh, on the – you know, on their image. But now they're starting to use images and it looks like a, a tweet from somebody – that you you know you might receive tweet a tweet from, um, so they are getting a little creative. But if you don't recognize the person, or if the conversation really doesn't seem normal, like they're they're saying something that you you didn't uh, uh, that you didn't initiate, then I would just ignore that that tweet and make sure that you don't uh, click on the hashtag because usually the hashtag excuse me the uh, URL leads to some spam site. Yes. Some of the ones I hate the most are the ones that come out as if you've said the message. Yeah. And you had nothing to do with it. I had one from a vendor once, uh, really irritating. They took a tweet I did, retweeted it, and changed the link to their website, which, oh, which wow. prompted a pretty nasty call on my part. Uh, that's so unprofessional. It, it plagiarism yeah. at, the twi at the Twitter level, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and really kind of raunchy marketing, if you think about it. Yeah, unfortunately, that does happen. But thankfully, I have not seen it happen a great deal. So, uh, but there is that block button. Well, there button. is yeah. our outro music. Janice, I'm going to thank you for joining us today. Uh, thank we're going to have to wrap this one up because we will go on forever and we can. We, we've, we've done that on the phone many times. Um, Terrence, as always, a big hug out to you and uh, thank you for being here. And for all of you sure. watching and um, either the live stream or the recorded, <laughs> thank you very much. We appreciate all of you guys being here. And we will see you next week on eLearn Chat, where talk Bye -bye. is knowledge. Goodbye, everybody. Take care. Okay, we are still live, but the recorded show has been terminated. So... We're done with the recording, and um, we're now on the live feed. That actually went really fast. I, I looked at my clock. It was 10 to 11. I went, hmm. Yeah. That was fun. Time flies when you're having fun. I know. <laughs> and uh, Leva, Leva's going to be on next week, so we're going to put her on the hot seat. Now I'm just making her nervous because she, <laughs> she doesn't like being in front of cameras. Oh, so. it's not that bad, Leva. You'll do fine. You'll do fine. You're just going to be chit-chatting with some buddies. That's what I told her. We're just at a cafe in Belgium having a nice time. Yeah, speaking of cafe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need to get a Gina Schreck mug that's bigger than your head. That's that's important. <laughs> well, actually, I have a pretty large Harley Davidson mug, but uh, I don't know what's happened to it. But when I heat up coffee in the microwave, the whole mug gets hot. And so, <laughs> yeah, G. Uh, Blitter says, I need a coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but the you know I put my hand on the handle one morning and almost burnt my hand. So we unfortunately had to throw that mug away. <laughs> okay. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. Oh my uh, gosh! Look. It's six a.m. in Australia. In well, 
We're so glad you joined us from the land down under. Oi, yeah. oi. <laughs> so we got Australia, we have uh, uh, Germany, you know, and I'm sure we have a few uh, few Americans that are tuned in live as well. We can broadcast our show in a different language next week. <laughs> I, actually, well, actually Janice Justin, and I could Janice and I could do Spanish. Sí, podemos hablar en español. Hablamos muy bien en español. Bueno, gracias y usted también. <laughs> We even had, uh, I don't know if you watched the show, but he definitely uh, tweeted uh, Dan uh, Pontefract out of Vancouver. So he was... Uh, oh, he Vancouver, tweeted. One of my Dan. favorite cities my in the world. My husband and I were there uh, in May. I hadn't been since I was 19 years old. And we're big Canucks fan. We're so sorry you didn't win the Stanley Cup. You know, there's, there's few places in the world as pretty as Vancouver or British Columbia, for that matter, Victoria. The whole British Columbia area is gorgeous. It um, is. And I, in fact, from Twitter, one of our um, Articulate colleagues, uh, she's not an employee. She uses Articulate. She's an e-learning designer developer. She lives on Vancouver well, Island. Stephanie, right? And, is it Stephanie? Uh, Stephanie, yes. Stephanie, she's, she's great. Yeah. In fact, I sent her a, a, a direct message and she says, oh my gosh, next time you and your husband are up here, come on over to the island and visit me. Yeah. So, you know, the friendships that can develop you know, via social media, uh, start on a professional basis and then can grow. So it's nice. So you're saying Twitter is a good dating service? No, travel log. I've, I've got my husband. I don't need to date anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, we've all been married a pretty long time. I'm going on 27 years. Wow. Terrence, you've been married a while. Uh, 18 this year. 18, Wow. Or 2011 will be 18. Yeah. Yeah. And right. you've been married, what, 15? 12 and a half. 12 and a half. Yeah. You're just a newbie. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've all beat the odds, so that's good. Definitely. <clears throat> so anyway, guys, this was fun. Uh, really appreciate all of you guys showing up, and I think it turned out well. We didn't have any technical glitches. Skype held up. We, we managed to glue Skype together for the, uh, for the one hour we were here, and... Uh, I'll clean up some of the. It, uh, it was a. Mm -hmm. It was a little a little delayed in parts, and I'll have to look at the recording um, to see if it was uh, if it was me or, you yeah. know, if it was actually. I can't Justin. tell. According to the uh, output stream from Wirecast, we were at a steady about five hundred and seventy six uh, k bits k out, so it was it was steadily out at the same rate, uh, but I'm not sure if Justin was having a, sl a slow time or not. I did notice yeah. I was having a little bit of audio problem here and there on your audio, uh, Janice. It just occasionally broke up a little bit, but it may not be Skype. It may be a bad cable, actually, because I was jiggling the cable and it seemed to clean it up. So I've got a, oh, wow. or, or it could be, a, yeah, in fact, it did it again just now. It could be a connector on the notebook I'm using. I think I'm going to swap this notebook out. Uh, Terrence and I have been having exploding PCs, routers, you name it. Jeez. Oh no! I hope it's not contagious. Oh man! I tell you, <clears throat> we've been through a through a lot of that le recently, so it's sort of uh, interesting. Oh, that's right. Terrence and his D asterisk 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 product. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Won't mention I, I any think I'm names. Gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna throw it out the window soon. I, I, it's getting to the point where it's not worth doing anything else to. Uh, you know, to try to save it. Mm. Wow, that's too bad. It it happens. Yeah. It ha well, especially when you get the D asterisk asterisk asterisk. I've I've heard just <laughs> too many too many issues with it. So they do have a good line, but it's not the the regular line. I think if you go up to the Alienware line, which is owned by D asterisk asterisk asterisk, they're a little bit higher end, but they charge you quadruple what what you need if you bought you know if you made your own PC up. Well, this um, this was a XPS, which well, the XPS you know, is a good, four, yeah, yeah. Four years ago, I mean, it was a you know a thirty five hundred dollar uh, laptop, so wow. I mean, it was it was top of the line. And I guess I shouldn't complain because it lasted for four years. It's just now. Well, that's um, actually longer than it should. They usually only yeah. last two. Yeah. So you're actually doing well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so. we're looking to upgrade hardware because my MacBook Pro is yeah three years over three years. So it's about time, I think. <laughs> yeah. Three, three years already. Hmm. Uh-huh. Going on four. So, you know, the yeah. MacBooks are pretty solid, though. They don't really 
break down easily? No, 